My friends, stop right there, because what you're about to see is not ordinary Martian footage. This is the moment that even left scientists silent, an image, a scene that you may have never imagined before. In the next few seconds, you'll be forced to decide for yourself whether this is Mars or an entirely different world. If this video amazes you, then make sure to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe and show this secret to your friends as well. And finally, a warm welcome to all of you on All About Mars Surface, where we bring every hidden secret of Mars straight to you first. In this episode, Perseverance smashes rocks on the surface, reaches the enchanted lake area, and discovers several strange rocks. This video is part of a series, documenting the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter every 41 months. Its sole, 4,132, and the rover has driven back to an interesting place on the Delta front to get another shot of this amazing formation. You can clearly see tunnel-like holes going through the rocks. Perseverance has been exploring the Delta front, excitedly going back and forth between different areas of interest. The rover is heading towards an area known as Enchanted Lake. The team at NASA has employed the strategy of looking at rocks, then quickly moving on to gain a greater context of what happened in Jezero Crater. This view from Sol 438 shows long wheel tracks with the Kodiak Butte in the distance. The rover is covering a lot of ground up and down the Delta front. On Sol 943, the team at NASA orders the rover to churn up the Martian surface. Perseverance gets busy making Zen art on the sand. You can see that the sand is composed of both larger and finer particles. The rover trains its laser on some freshly exposed sand. The data here will help the team determine what makes up the sand near the delta. Perseverance is also looking for frost on the undisturbed sand. Frost can form on Mars when the ground temperature gets below the point where water vapor in the air can turn directly into ice. The small holes seen in this image are where the rover trained its laser. It seems it's still a little too warm for frost. Meanwhile, our helicopter friend takes to the sky for flight number 31. Ingenuity is slowly catching up to the rover, wanting to help with scouting ahead. You can see the delta is starting to come into focus. Back on the ground, Perseverance finally reaches the enchanted lake area. The rocks here look very sharp and brittle. The rover really wants to drill here. On Sol 158, Perseverance attempts to abrade a promising rock. Unfortunately, the rock is smashed beyond all recognition. The delta is proving incredibly hard to sample, but the rover must keep trying. The team checks that the rock abrasion tool is not damaged and proceed with their search for a good rock sample. There are so many interesting targets in the area. Look at this pile of thin, flaky rocks. How did it get here? The rover investigates an interesting outcrop that seems to be made up of small, irregular blocks. This is the view from the camera on the end of its arm. Interesting patterns are observed. When Perseverance captured its latest footage inside Jezero Crater, the rocks showed strange and unexpected layers. How do such layers form on Earth? Through flowing water or through microorganisms and bacteria that die and turn into fossils. So finding these layers on Mars is not a random coincidence. The textures, the patterns, and the internal structures of these rocks keep raising one powerful question. Did Mars once have life when Perseverance used its microimagers to capture the fine details of these rocks? It revealed lines and circular patterns that closely resemble Earth's fossilized stromatolites. These stromatolites are some of the oldest fossils on Earth, over 3.5 billion years old. Seeing similar patterns on Mars, if this turns out to be true, it would become one of humanity's biggest scientific shocks. 
And this is exactly the moment where even NASA became extremely cautious. The place where Perseverance is operating was once a massive lake, a deep body of water where water pooled, flowed, shifted, and left behind layers, minerals, and chemical traces. That is why the rocks here look completely different from typical Martian terrain. Some rocks are sponge-like, full of pores, as if naturally carved from inside. Some hold ripple patterns, as if ancient waves shaped them. And some contain microstructures that scientists still cannot classify. My friends, the question is not only why these rocks are strange. The real question is, are these fossils or a totally unknown Martian natural formation we've never encountered before? When Perseverance's SuperCam mapped the rock chemistry, it detected carbonate minerals. Where do these carbonates form on Earth? Exactly in places where water stays for long periods and where microbes leave behind their chemical fingerprints. Could this be the start of microbial fossilization on Mars? Or is Mars's geology producing something we still cannot predict? The truth is, this question is still open. If these rocks truly contain fossils, it would prove that life was never exclusive to Earth. Somewhere else, at some other time, something lived. Perseverance is only studying the surface for now. The real conclusion will come when these samples are brought back to Earth. But the bigger question is, are we ready to face Mars's true past? Is it possible that water flowed over the surface of this rock, bringing minerals that were compressed by something that was previously laid on top? The area is too exciting, and Perseverance gears itself up to try and get a core sample. First, it will need to abrade the rock. The rover proceeds carefully and records the operation. You can see that the rock does sink slightly, but not enough to be of concern. The operation took around 10 minutes in real time. Fortunately, the rock withstood the abrasion and turns out to be quite a hard piece of rock. You can see in this image that the rock abrasion tool has left some markings on the patch. Excitingly, this means it's time for the rover to get its drill out. This series of images shows the drilling operation. Again, the rock sank slightly, but not enough to cause any problems. In the video, you can see a small chip of rock settle into the abrasion patch. This image shows the flake of rock in the patch. The material in this area seems to be very brittle. The rock has cracked, but the sample is retrieved successfully. There is, however, one small problem. The sample will not seal properly. The issue may be due to Martian dust interfering with the sealing process. Perseverance captures a time-lapse of images over four soles, showing small dust grains moving around the sample tube's rim. While the team works on a fix, the rover must press on. Perseverance finishes up activities at Enchanted Lake and is on the move once again. The team wants it to analyze the Martian sand along the way. Its own wheel tracks provide a great look at what sits just beneath the surface. The rover must also gather data from undisturbed areas to compare. You can see the laser shots in this image. Perseverance on Sol 629. Perseverance finds itself surrounded by rocks. These rocks appear to be similar to those formed by volcanic activity. Look at this rock. It has what appears to be scratch marks. If you look closely, you can see that this scratch pattern persists throughout the rock and is present on other rocks in the area. So it's likely natural, but it does make for a cool photo. This boulder appears to be broken in half. Did it fall from the top of the delta? Or was it transported by water? Or perhaps, was it brought here by a volcanic eruption in the ancient past? If you look closely here, this may well be the other half of the boulder. Maybe it rolled down the delta front quite recently. There are clearly two different rock types present here. The darker volcanic rocks and the lighter, sharper bedrock material. Mars on Sol 618. The rover comes across a strange rock that has a line of extruded material attached to the surface. 
we'd like to say a big thank you to our patrons. You are helping us to keep this series going. Find the link to join the community below. Thanks for watching All About Mars Surface. My friends, whatever is hidden inside these ancient Mars rocks might become the biggest scientific story of the coming decades. If this video fascinated you, if you enjoy uncovering the mysteries of Mars, then make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Because in the next video, we're going to decode Perseverance's newest thermal scans. And trust me, you don't want to miss that. See you in the next discovery.